Hey, it's Anfa, and you're watching Quick Requests. Uh, I got a request to show how you can make, um, how you can do sidechain gating or gating effect. Um, there's a plugin called LFO tool uh, that makes it very easy. Um, and well, I'm also doing some gating effects, but um, I don't have that available, so I'm doing it the other way. So I'm gonna show you a quick thing. Let's make a few chords. And yeah, I'm gonna make just make this. Now this is going to be my synth. And I'm gonna also make a second um, MIDI track that's gonna going to trigger the gate. First, let's give this uh, synth sound a little bit of a character. Maybe a few voices, voices make it brighter. Nice. We have a chord. Now we want to gate it. So what I want to do is add a sidechain gate plugin to my synth track. Uh, I want LSP, uh, okay, sidechain. All right, sidechain gate stereo, um, that, that's the plugin. I used calf sidechain gate, but it doesn't seem to work correctly. Something's wrong or I can't understand it. So I'm using this uh, one from Linux Studio plugins or LSP. All right, so here's the sidechain gate. What I also need is a trigger signal. So I'm gonna make a, a region here and I'm gonna make some notes here. It doesn't, the pitch doesn't matter at all. Okay, now it plays. I'm gonna loop this. <clears throat> Actually, it's a cool rhythm. Now, let's open up the sidechain gate, and as you can see, it processes the audio of this chord there. So I click here on the pinout, which gives me access to all the routing options of this plugin. I enable a sidechain input. Click here and select MIDI 2, which is the name of my trigger track. I should have renamed this to trigger or gate trigger. Yeah. Oh, give it a sec. Our or sometimes doesn't like disconnecting sidechain inputs. Okay, sidechain gate trigger. Now I route this to the sidechain input left and right. I close this. Now, in this LSP sidechain gate, I change the internal type to external, which means it's using the sidechain input now. Now I can mute my gate trigger, and you can hear it already has an effect. This rhythm is being put onto this synth track. Now we can tweak this, make it sound better. For example, here we have the threshold. I'm oh, sorry, uh, this is the upper and the lower threshold. This is for hysteria. So. I'm gonna make it lower and make the zone smaller. So it's a sharper fall off. Now make the reduction go all the way down. And now we can also Attack and release. Let's make them as low as possible. Yeah, that's neat. What I often do is make the gate trigger track play a high pitched square wave instead of a sine wave. and also make the filter go all the way up. So we have a nice, thick, consistent signal that can be easily read by this sidechain gate. <coughs> now, excuse me, um, let me again mute uh, the gate trigger track. Because you can see I am muting it, but I'm muting it at the fader point. And the special sand that was created by Augur when I insert any when I linked the in sidechain input here, is before the fader, so it doesn't affect it. I can disable this, and now there's no input signal, no sidechain input for this. For the gate. 
Now we can also um, do something else. We can basically use an LFO or an envelope and just impose it on top of something else. Let's use an envelope. Let me listen to my um, my um, let's let's give it an amplitude envelope or maybe a decay one. Yeah, it's, it's a little pluck, right? Now you can see our sidechain gate reads this value. This is the pink pink one. Uh, but we are have, we're very cutting it off very steeply. So I'm gonna move the threshold so it just barely catches the peak and then lower the zone so it actually reads all of it. And now, It imposes our envelope onto this synth. I can also add an LFO. It's kind of insane, right? I'm, I'm using an LFO here in a completely different instrument, but it's being applied here because of the sidechain gate. And this is very powerful. So yeah, just have fun, play with it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and if you have any questions or suggestions, or maybe you have quick requests, leave them in the comment section and I may make a quick video for you. Thanks again. Thanks to all the Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash anfa who are allowing me to dedicate more time to making videos like this one. Bye.